What's the number one fear everybody has? The fear of public speaking is huge. I think everyone kind of has that fear. A mistake is being afraid. I was absolutely terrified. You can be the smartest person in the room, but no one will know. What is the world missing out on? How do we help them get over their nervousness and their fear of speaking? Remember, number one fear in the world. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make him welcome Joe Griffin. The fear of speaking is always listed number one on any list of fears and always has been as long as I've been around. Joe, the creator of the course, Joe Griffith, he spent several years on the speaking circuit. That's great. I always love it when they introduce you as somebody who's made over 200 television commercials and then you get up here and people look at you like... <laughs> he was in the Navy, he was a comedian, he speaks to all these CEOs, he did all this different stuff and he was an author. He knew the people, he had the experience. It's not just a job, it is truly a passion. I feel very fortunate that I got to make a living for 30 years as a professional speaker. I got to be successful because so many people reached out, made a phone call for me, told somebody to put me in front of their audience that gave me the exposure I needed to launch my career. That's why I'm giving back. One of the things that makes this course really unique is that Joe, this is his concept. He knew what he did and it kind of lived in his head. When I initially started this class, I thought since I was the only one teaching it for so long that it was me. As it turns out, it's not me, it's the process that I created. Other teachers have taught the class and have gotten the same reviews that I've gotten. I took the course and it was something else. I had done public speaking before, but it was something I really wanted to get better at. In high school, I learned, you know, kind of how to walk when you're presenting, where to put your hands. But through the course, I realized some of those were kind of outdated. And so I learned the more modern way, the more business way to speak. It was only maybe a couple hours, but it doubled my confidence without a doubt, just in this short period of time. I was probably one of the shyest, kind of quietest people in there. I'm hoping to get out of this class to uh, enhance my speaking capabilities. Just the transformation was just, I mean, you could see it was like night and day. That brings more people to the games because they're mad at you. It, it changed and it's, I haven't looked back since. I've taken it with me to several different areas. And so being able to get up in front of students, in front of other adults and present confidently and effectively um, has been an enormous resource and a huge tool for me. Always through teaching something, you're learning right alongside the people that you're teaching. And anytime you start to work with someone and it's something that they've created, you know, of course it's going to be near and dear to their heart. Through it all, I was able to see his passion. Act enthusiastic and you'll be enthusiastic. Through the course, you see that built into every exercise that you do. Even if he isn't teaching it, you can still feel that experience, that passion through the people, the instructors. We've had thousands of people come through the course. The most common comment, why hasn't somebody else taught us this? 